We're talking tonight about an incident at the ER. It is the law and you right here on Eyewitness News and back with us tonight, attorney is Harry McGrath, who is here for Greg and Ed Saramboli. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Did you, you have you a do? good, uh, you know, holiday week so yeah, far? Yeah, I can't complain at all, you guys. Yeah, looking forward to the weekend. It's yeah. been great so far. That's the one good thing about the holiday in the middle of the week, the weekend uh, not too yeah. far away. And before we get there, a question tonight, and uh, this one is in from Nancy and Nanticoke. Nancy says, I was at the ER recently for what I thought was a broken foot. It turns out I had a blood clot. Nothing was done, and now my foot may have to be amputated. What do I need to pursue a case? Ed, she probably has to start with uh, obtaining medical records. Yeah, right? I mean, you're going to have to get uh, not only your medical records uh, from the ER, because obviously, you know, the blood clot, you probably have some underlying medical condition that, uh, you know, you're going to need to understand how that impacted this decision or decision or lack of a decision at the ER. So not only get your records from the ER, but make sure you get your records from your family doctor and any other doctors that you've been treating with for you know th this particular type of uh, condition leading up to your visit to the ER. And then you're going to need to talk to a lawyer and they're going to need to analyze it and, and, and go through it and see, get the records out to an expert to make a determination as to whether you can move forward on a case, you know, a case like this. Harry, what do they have to do? Uh, you know, what's the first kind of thing they should do after they get the records? Well, once you obtain the records, you need to, as Eddie said, get in touch with the lawyer, make them available to the lawyer, and then it's going to be a period of time where uh, there's going to have to be a review of the records by, you know, experienced lawyers and experienced medical experts to determine if there actually was a mistake that was made. And, you know, the most important thing you can do at the outset is get those records, make the request, and make sure that you get the entire medical chart from the provider so that the right decision can be made about your case. Yep, you got to fight like heck to get those records. I mean, it, you know, even if they tell you you can't have them, they're your records. You have every right to them. Don't don't take no for an answer. Sound advice once again. Results matter with attorneys Harry McGrath and Ed Saramboli. You can call them. You can check them out online for help. Guys, thanks. We'll see you next time. You got it, Dave. Thank you. Gayhomepage.com and the Law New Hotline are there for you.